Hi, this is Frank. I have this scene here for the Dragon Slayer spoof that I have to move this character, Lurk, to the center of the, the screen and this um, neat F um, parody character will stand here and I have to figure out how I want to move the uh, the camera as well since if you take a look the camera actually can move and um, affect the, the background because the background is more like a 3D room which is a, a neat little effect I'll do for this particular scene so now I just have to figure out how to get um, Lurk over to the center of the room so I think I'll just have him walk normally. Maybe I should... Yeah, in other words, right now he's being a little cautious. But with that in mind, maybe I should have him sneak to the, the center of the room. Because he's got to figure out which door to pick. Since he's just um, progressing through. So the first thing I'll do is keyframe his position and that's right there and one thing I do want to mention is for the z-axis I have it at 0.8% I'm sorry 0.8 so that means that when I move the camera his uh, position is pretty stable within the um, the movement of the background if I went to let's say I said it's 0.8 let's make it um, 1.8 it would totally increase the scale so if we take a look oh wait I don't know where he is now he probably uh, zoom further back so let me go back and adjust that to maybe um, alright I'll remember that point eight so maybe I'll just go to to one point two or something see it's bringing up closer forward so when I move the camera uh, he's still online with that but I don't want him that close so that's why 0.8 is where I want the character to be so today I don't want to take up too much time with this video just show where this is progressing and the steps necessary to move it forward and let's see so looking at this character here um, <laughs> I have to figure out okay from frame one to let's give him uh, maybe a second to go through this pose here so let me pull up my actions that I have for the pre made animations that I created for this character and let's just give him a little bit of life to his stand so I'll put that on frame um, frame one and just paste that in there so let's say he's not that careful right now he's this is the first room he entered but actually he knows what's going on by now he, he made it all the way to the, the princess so uh, on the other hand let's say he's aware of all the the danger of the castle so the first thing I want to do is have his arm extended out for just about a, a second is good and then move his head forward a little bit just to show that he's about to move forward and then 
here, I could probably, um, I could go with the sneak that I worked on before and move them to the center of the room. Uh, maybe that would be a good start. Well, actually, I'll just go with the walk. I'll this way, it's got a starting point. So I'll keyframe this position right here. And next thing I'll do is just have them start to walk. Rather than have to go through that whole animation process, I have it already animated that I created earlier. And now I'll just go from there. And here he starts his walk. How fast do I want the walk? That's the question now. So I do want to extend it out a little bit. So maybe like there. Every um, fifth frame or something like that. And they look pretty evenly spaced so I could do that for this. It'll just be a uh, quick walk just to the center so that'll be okay so here he is he starts to step forward that arm looks a little weird because he brings it forward but then he brings it back it just doesn't make a whole lot of sense so what I'll do is grab that arm, keep it back there, like he's holding her back from advancing until he figures out what the room's about. And now he'll move forward. So I have him right there. I'll do a uh, linear keyframe here. If I jump to here, will that be enough to get him to the center? I, I think it might, but let's, let me take a look here, because at the center is when I'll have the next action. So here he is here, he's stepping forward, I have to make this linear so it goes quickly and no delay or anything like that. Looks like he's sliding a little bit. It might be okay. I mean, it looks okay. Yeah, there's a little bit of a slide there. But it's, it seems okay. So here he is here. There he is there. Yeah, there's where the slide occurs. So here's the extension. And there's the slide. I really don't want him to slide. So how would I handle that? I would just move the keyframe a little closer for that particular moment. This way his legs are constantly moving. This way he doesn't slide. So there it is. That solves that problem. And now I'll go to the next step, which I won't reveal now until the final project's done with this particular scene. But before I do that, I'd like to have the camera uh, follow him. So one thing I could do is now that I have the camera set here, see there's the the camera. That's the left, right, up, down, and that's the zoom. So now that I have it set here, I could copy it right here, paste, and 
now I'll just follow him to the center. Maybe to three. And then stop over here. So I'll go like this. And stop right there. And then what that looks like is you have this. Probably shut that off. So you have this here. And I'm going through it manually because if I don't, it's really choppy. It goes too fast that I'll just show what it, what happens. Press play. Well, that wasn't too bad, but to give an idea what this will look like, I could do a quick preview in a smaller scale and it renders it out a lot faster. And that's kind of what it'll what it'll it will look like. So that's it for now and that's the progress I'm getting through with this uh, side project on this parody of one of my favorite cartoons of all time uh, Dragon's Lair from Don Bluth and this is like a parody of it I'm going to add uh, a different element to it uh, thanks for watching feel free to comment, subscribe, like and share and 